after, but just... John Snyder was supposed to leave for a camping trip this Tuesday, heading from his home in Fanny Bay to the Cape Mudge Resort on Quadra Island, but decided to cancel. We could probably try to see what would happen in Campbell River at the ferry, but we just thought, given the spirit of the orders and everything else, it would be best just to cancel and stay home. The resort at the south end of Quadra Island is in the Island Health Authority, same as Fanny Bay, and according to the new restrictions set out by the province Friday, travel within the Health Authority is allowed. But there's also the strong suggestion to stay home unless travel is essential, which is why Snyder and his wife are staying put. In the high case counts and what the health care workers are going through, we just decided to stay home. How many cancellations did you get then? Uh, well, alone, I probably had uh, 50 RV reservations cancel and probably uh, at least 30 cottages. That's to the end of May, and all of those cancellations also from Vancouver Islanders, Victoria to Campbell River. Some of them saying, well, they don't really didn't really feel comfortable um, with it being unclear and then coming to the ferry and being turned away. She adds the Cape Mudge Resort supports travel restrictions right now, hoping it will mean they can open up for a busy summer. But it's not just places that offer accommodations that concern tourism officials here on Vancouver Island. What keeps me up at night um, is, is that what I call activity providers or experience providers. So whale watchers, kayak operators, wild play parks or Horn Lake caves or, you know, Butch Art Gardens. All these things are the reasons people come. But he too says the current restrictions are a necessary step towards a possible strong summer, and it seems many people are on board with that.